Arcos sent over the Arcos 50 Sophia Foam. Now this has got Marshmallow 6.0 as an operating system straight away. Now on the side, where you normally find your volume control, is where you would find your little tray underneath a grommet seal. Now this is where you put your micro SD card which can support up to 128 gig on this phone and your SIM card. So you slot it back into the side here and then you close up the seal. And the reason why it's got a seal is because it's dust proof, drop proof and waterproof. And you'll find three seals, so you've got one here at the bottom as well for your micro USB connector which you'll find loads of cables at home to charge this device. And you also at the top will find your 3.5mm jack which is where you can connect your headphone set and listen to your favourite audio books, YouTube or any music from Spotify if you choose or wish to do so. And on the right hand side is where you normally find the actual SIM card tray which is now replaced with the volume rocker which is up and down to turn your volume uh, up and then volume down to turn your volume down and then you've got your power button just underneath and that is sealed in a rubber coating as well so if you drop it on the floor it's not going to break the buttons and also it's waterproof and dustproof so you don't get any debris in between the buttons as well and looking at the side of the actual phone itself it's got rubber texture which is like a military grade and it feels really nice to hold in the hand without actually slipping so so this beast looking phone supports a 5 inch screen diagonally across and is supporting 1280 by 720 of uh, resolution which is really handy to obviously surf in the internet and it's clear enough to look at documentation so you're not losing any functionality that you would normally have on a normal smartphone. So this phone is also rocking a quad core processor for multifunctional things at the same time without any lag and any slowdowns when you're actually trying to look on your favorite video or you're trying to do other multitasks in the background of this phone. This phone's also 4G compatible and that means that you'll get the optimized speed and bandwidth that you will need to obviously surf the internet at the high speeds when you're walking around and it also supports a 30 megapixel camera at the back and a 5 megapixel on the front. The internal memory of this phone is 16 gigabytes, would be more than sufficient in 2017. Would be nice to see a little bit more of a boost so you can add more functions or more apps I should say, which is more function for you to actually play your apps and your favourite games as well as storing documentation on there or storing videos. But you can upgrade to 128 gig which will happily work no problem. This has also got a DDR3 low dim uh, DDR3 memory. The GPU is a Mali T720 which means that it's going to be great for gaming and stuff like that because you'll actually see more better enhanced graphics and more it will be more stimulating, it will be uh, more cleaner and less lag. It runs at 1.5 gigahertz per core and then you've got obviously four virtual cores on the processor as well which means that you can definitely multitask at a high, nice high speed. You could actually have games running in the background as well as your applications whatever you're doing and shopping no problems. So on the back I did say it's got a 30 megapixel camera but I didn't say it had automatic focus as well as well as manual focus. So what I'm saying is that every Android phone that's normally up to date now, you can definitely just take pictures and stuff. So I'm gonna take a picture over there in that corner. And it's also got HDR, which is really quite classy. And the video on it is not too bad. I like the video, the video runs quite smoothly. The only thing is my gripe is about the actual video is when you actually go to uh, uh, zoom in, you zoom in and it looks a bit pixelated and that's the only thing I don't like but moving the phone like that you get very good stabilisation on it and the picture quality is really good especially in low light conditions. So I'm just going to demonstrate what it's like to have um, video calling on the actual camera so I'm going to start recording right now and as you can see that I'm speaking very clearly there's no um, lag in my voice or obviously the visuals and that's how simple it is. This also encodes in 1080p format, which means you'll get a nice decent 35 frames per second out of this phone, which means very nice smooth playback. So that's really good. The battery on here is super, super long. Now I've had this phone for about two weeks and I haven't even bothered charging it. And at the moment, it is saying that it's got 9% battery in it while I've actually been playing on it. I don't know whether you can see that, but yeah, that is 9% right there, 9%. So. This is the battery life on this phone. Two weeks later, 9%. This is absolutely outstanding, a battery on this phone and 9% two weeks without even charging it. Super impressed. 
So we haven't lost any functionality at all with the phone. You will definitely get everything you'll normally get with any smartphone. But this is really quite cool. The only thing you get more with this phone is that it's drop proof, waterproof and dust proof. And it's got great things like you can encode in H.264 on the phone as well. As well as it will run on bitmap and it will run JPEG and PNG. So everything is all exactly the same as any other smartphone, which is great. Continuing on about the battery power of this phone, it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery. And I don't know, maybe it's 10,000 because how the hell does this phone last for two weeks and is that 9% today so what I like about this phone is that the power is great it's drop proof it's dust proof it's waterproof it's rugged design and it's lo hasn't got no loss of functionality and you can upgrade the memory from 16 gigabytes all the way to 128 gigabytes and it's supported and it's got a flash as well and the screen is really vivid and it's really loud let's have a little test what I like about this phone as well is that the fact is that it's playing a little bit of a clip without me having to do anything and all my videos and files that have been saved on the phone I can actually see it actually moving at the same time but listen to how loud this is Decisions she should have known much better She was gonna break Think you're so clever But poison is so now I'm going to try and test to put it in actual sink water in a real world scenario. So there we go, we've got 8% battery and I'm going to just drop it in. So we're going to leave this phone in there for 5 minutes and then at the end we ain't going to show you if it's still alive or it's dead. You'll have to comment down below and ask me the question and I'll let you know if it's alive or dead as well as a little video clip and also the reason why it's moving is because it's touch screen so obviously water moving over it and it's in the same um, the same environment is going to make it actually start to move and also if you like this video like it if you didn't like it dislike it leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching